Yes, but I wanted to make this video because it is important. Like so many of you in the tribe, I spent the weekend thinking, well, you know, it's almost too good to be true. What's happened in the UK and Ireland is regarding the restrictions. It's almost too good to be true, right? And let me see if I can get this better. And what? Hold on. And what? There we go. What kind of? And what is the next cat they're going to pull out of the bag? Because we know what they're like, okay? We know how they behave. We know the, we're in the tribe and we, we abstained from needlecraft because we know that they're all pathological liars and they're all quite mentally ill, many of them. And that's a useful thing. And I've been anxious over the weekend thinking about it up all hours, all night, very restless thinking about it. And I said, we'll find out Monday morning. Because Monday morning, they'll probably whip out something that's like, you got your restrictions, but ah, it didn't happen. It's full steam ahead. Now, for opening up. Now, you know, this mainly relates to people in the UK and Ireland who are on the tribe and who have refused the needle craft for ourselves. And that it doesn't apply to people in this part of the world, UK and Ireland, who've taken the needle craft because they have entered into a very different future than we have. So our timeline, our future, this is for us. I would say that it's legit. They're, they're, they've thrown the towel in, not out of defeat, uh, be, but because of madness. Now, let me explain to you how I came to this conclusion. You know the way I do every Monday night, not tonight, we're showing the Roberto Calvi film tonight, but every Monday night, I do the psychic weather on the week and strange on Beyond Room 313 channel. Now, the, there was a psychic weather forecast. It's something I've been working on since I've been probably in my early 20s. And it was based on observational. Because of my life was kind of unique, I started out working in very low-end, blue-collared work jobs. You know, building sites, painting houses. I mean, they were good jobs, though. There's nothing wrong with them. But, I mean, that's in terms of how our society thinks. Kitchen di dishwashers. And I worked my way up to, you know, investment banking as a communications consultant on Wall Street. I was able to see the full, and I also played music and stuff like that in between, and, and travelled a fair bit. Uh, I, I was able to see the, the, the full gambit of humanity and, and realised that basically it's just like Joseph Campbell and, and Carl Jung said, that there's, the archetypes are maintained throughout Western society more or less. And that's absolutely true. So you will get the same archetypes in the trading floor of JP Morgan that you will get in the a building site in London. It, you will get the same archetypes. And the most useful of all these archetypes are the Renfields and the people who are psychologically unhinged. Uh, borderlines are very, are very useful. The reason for this is their mental illness is a symbol of their de in many ways their consciousness being disconnected from the current space time entanglement now i'm i'm going i'm going to go into places here that you might find like out there but trust me i've been doing this all my life it's real in fact a lot of magic is based on the the removal of one's consciousness uh, and cognition from this densely packed quantum foam that's the underlying structure of this dense very dense reality this realm we live in so they break through now the pathological versions of them in the psychiatric sense we're talking about the nasty ones that the, 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 the not wouldn't be necessarily psychopathic uh, but say borderline females uh, 
troublemakers, shit stirrers, um, people who've been turned into psychosis by heavy use of cannabis, particularly, very good one, or alcohol. Cannabis is a very good one because it causes psychosis and mental illness almost immediately in people who smoke too much of it. And they, they can't escape. They fall into Well, they can't escape, but they fall into it. But the ones who... If you, have a, if you find individuals who smoke weed who are unhinged, you're really doing well. Because you have the ultimate canary in a coal mine to read the future. Because they exist way in the future. Now, for a while now, I've been using these macro-entangled servitors, avatars, Renfields, canaries in the coal mine that have, have produced 100% accuracy. And they're, all, they're like the elephants and the animals in, in Asia who ran to the mountains when the tsunami was coming in because they are not quantum entangled due to the shock to their cognition by mental illness, prescription drugs, overuse of cannabis, etc. And they, they, they tell you what's coming down the road. Now, this, the, the, the core sample of specimens that I'm using are about 18 months in the future. Until this point, they have hit 100% in terms of what's coming. So there, I was able to determine that they were quantum and coupled with the administrations the of the countries they live in. So they're, uh, at the, so they're, so they're you know, and, and individuals in those countries, citizens of the UK and Ireland, and they're quantum entangled with the governments of those and the zeitgeist and the cultural what's coming down the road the cultural noxious gases because they're because they're pathological they they flare up the the disruptive stuff the the difficult challenging stuff and then they go dormant when the, the um when there's nothing coming down the line they and they've been dormant now for about 18 months, although they had reflected as above, so below, almost identically, 18 months prior to the, what happened with the, the scamdemic as it unfolded. So they're extremely accurate. They had, they showed me exactly what happens with the, these paths, if anyone's ever had an iteration for borderline, they will be extremely dysfunctional, vicious, hateful, and then it goes off, it just switches off. They don't have the lingering urge to destroy like a narcissistic or a psychopathic individual does. They just switch off on that pathological tangent that they're on. And you're like, what? You know, wouldn't, you know if they wanted to kill me yesterday, then it's okay. You know, so it's like, that's what they're like, okay? Britain and Ireland are out of the lockdowns, the mandatory jabs, the law. It's it's coming, we're going back to normal. And you could take, I could be wrong on this, but in terms of me, if I was to take my money to the bank on it, that's what I'd bet on. Now, that's not to say there, isn't, there aren't other things at the, the global level, such as trouble with Russia and so on coming down. That's a different thing. I'm talking specifically in terms of the, the, the pandemic, the lockdowns, the jabs, all that stuff. It's over. It's over for us in Britain and Ireland. Now, why I was particularly anxious this weekend over it, like so many of us, like what, what hat are they going to pull out the bag? Is where we're like, we, we've been, you have to remember, we're now in, we're in a situation of bullied people. We're like abused spouses. And we're like, it's over, but we're still like, those of us who are going, I'm just waiting for them to jack up the case numbers and put us in lockdown again. And I'm not saying it ha won't happen, but as far as I'm concerned, it's not going to happen. That's all over. Uh, we are like battered white housewives wait and, you know, waiting for them to come back after he stopped beating you. But he's left. And we still have that, that, that we've been abused. You have to remember, we have spent, we have been abused like a battered spouse by government for the last 22 months. 
and we're in a state of post-traumatic stress of a weight we're like we're like this inside but it's over they're gone and we have to accept that they're gone because that way we can plan for the future now the reason why i was restless over the weekend was the colossal disparity disparity this distant this change in circumstances between say ireland and quebec britain and italy in italy if tina was saying that you go you still go down it's still no jab no job and when you go down to get the jab they have a form saying you did this by mutual consent now this is mental illness where you have to remember our, our politicians our mass media our administration and our healthcare service and and scientific institutions went into ment mental illness in the last 22 months this is what the TikTok dancing is about boris johnson is showing this very much and they went into mental illness and all this is mental illness and this will pass and so you know just like i was i was telling look i was telling everybody here in ireland and my friends in england just wait till the spring we'll have at least clarity hold out if you're in the nhs or the hse and they're there it's, it's basically a thing of like get the get the jobs or you lose your job hold out hold i've been telling people hold out wait don't i know it's terrible what they're doing to you but hold out just wait and those people they've held out what we had we held and i also you know corona will lose its shine by april 9 but i didn't say what year i was specific i said april 9 it's happening here now and it's gone by april 9 it won't be coming back and uh it would be before then i'm telling you we might have, of course we you're born into a prison and your life will be in a, a struggle but that's not how you live your life you live your life according to the beautiful and wonderful things that happened when you fell in love was in a band had a great vacation had the, the happiness your children brought you you know but we are with this with this, this is a problem with the truthers and that's why they're, they're I, i'm staying off telegram it's very toxic and all those other sites they are the way they are because they have a christian psychosis of salvation that one day the world is going to be utopia and everything will be perfect no we've been born into the, the gnostics are right and the cathars are right we've been born to a prison but along the way, make life as well. The, Cath the Gnostics didn't like that. I don't like them. But the Cathars were as long as there's wine, love, happiness, and good food, make the most of this prison here. So there's no utopia, though. It's a constant progression of humanity fighting this alien force on this planet that produces psychopathic situations that were launched into by powerful human beings whatever the seek whatever the secret unknowns are i don't even know if they're human at this point but this is the deal okay we may have signed up for this due to karma on living on another planet or lifetime now and some of us have it way easier than others and if you have it easy and you have a roof over your head and people you care about who love you you're not doing too bad okay now i so they're collapsed into mental illness now the 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 british and irish ones just gave up that they're uh, and they just like the the renfield canaries it's exactly how it happened with them watching how their behavior around other people and stuff like that they just petered away there was a sudden stop a little little bit of things now and again like we had they might got that we had a quite a bit of a rise today but it won't go anywhere it won't result in any more lockdowns it won't result that not that i can tell now if i'm wrong i'll be the first one to stand here and say look i was wrong but going by a, a methodology that i've been using for about two two and a half decades this is what i i'm predicting and how i'm living my life going forward you know uh, the international pa uh, travel things will be removed the who even said it yesterday and so it's you know there's go for the good news rather than saying i still have to wear a mask you know you, you like that, that's a very infantile christian mentality of wanting salvation instantaneously now so we've we're, it's all we didn't win a battle we waited for the mentally ill to burn themselves out and that's what's happened in the uk and ireland it's still going on in scotland and wales to a bit but in england and ireland they, they've burned themselves out now of course you have situations jacinta arden 
made up a story that she had to cancel her wedding because of the COVID spikes. That's mental illness. She's done as well. If you look at photographs of her now, you can see she looks like the kind of person that should be in a straight jacket, bobbing back and forth. Dan Andrews has lost his shine. Biden, for Christ's sake. You know, and uh, Macron looks more and more mentally ill by the day, by the day, overtly. And when they're mentally ill, they will self-destruct. And what we're saying, the whole, the whole substructure foundation of bureaucracy in all these nations in the west is 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 broken it's it's mentally ill and falling apart and uh, so that's my prediction it's over you know yeah i i i was well, the reason why we're saying i'm waiting for him to pull something out of the bag and lock us down again is because give yourself a break you are an abused bully per bullied person who's been abused and bullied by government you really have and you're and you, you and if you at those of you women or men who were in abusive situations you will find oh god that's just how i behaved after he left or after she left for months after it was like waiting for the next slap or the door the sound of the front door being open and his footsteps coming through that's what it's like for us give yourself a break we've been bullied into submission and it bullied into post-traumatic stress but I think we're okay in terms of the whole lockdown, whole jab thing, it's over. Now there's people who've taken the jab at their kid. There's a whole other story there regarding the sudden deaths and everything. But that's not for that's for the world and them to deal with. Those of us in the tribes, we have our own trajectory. And uh, this is it. So uh give yourself a break. I can't see any reason why we're going back in. Italy, Quebec. Victoria, New Zealand, you know, Austria, Germany. Uh, you're, you'll be with us soon. It's coming, Canada. It's coming. You'll be with us soon. Uh, your your governments are just probably more mentally ill. And I think it might have to do with the fact that, particularly in Australia, Victoria, and Canada, you're newer nations, you're newer cultures, and you don't have the same experience that, say, European nations have had. Now, there's things like ultra complicity in places like Austria. And I also don't, and I, and, and I don't believe these stories that there's, there's a 98% uptake in needlecraft in Ireland. I don't believe that anymore. Now, because yesterday, they all came out of the woodwork. And it was very interesting. It wasn't like, yeah, we're free. It's like, it's just acceptance. So that would be the theme for this video. According to my methodologies, in using the occult we're in the clear and regarding the scamdemic the lockdown the jabs and everything so what you know try to get away and it's totally understandable of the battered housewife waiting for the knock on the door when he comes back drunk he's gone for good and the word of the day and the word going forward is acceptance of that particular aspect of the process and uh you know we continue on <clears throat> sorry go ahead noses take care